stores with all the books and I bought some books and I'm going to share them with you super quick because we got a jet. Anyway, um, here we go. Children of the Land, a memoir by Marcelo Hernandez Castillo. Very excited about this one because Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me sent it to me and she said she thought that I would love it. So, personal recommendation. I love memoirs, so yeah. And then uh, next, our next Eric Larson will be Thunderstruck, a ripping yarn of murder and invention. Eric Larson is always good. Another Jacqueline recommendation that like she sent it to me on I think Twitter or Instagram. She's so good on Instagram. You guys need to check her out. But she sent me the link and I like looked it up instantly. It must have been Instagram. Uh, <laughs> Honey and Venom and, and ordered it like right after. It was just an Insta buy. Honey and Venom, Confessions of an Urban Beekeeper by Andrew Cote. I mean, yeah, I'm so excited about this. So excited. I like just got it and I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. It's so awesome. And then I meant to unbox this one for you guys so that I could show you because it's a graphic novel and I like to show you the graphics in graphic novels. But um, this is Boxers and Saints by Jean Wen Yang. And I have read this and loved it a couple years ago. And I kept thinking I'd find it on thrift books or at a used bookstore and I never do. So I went ahead and splurged on it and oh, it's just brilliant. So the Boxers has some of the uh, Chinese gods and then the Saints um, has like Joan of Arc as a saint and it's about the Boxer Rebellion and it's so good. I love it. So excited to maybe reread that soon. Okay, and then uh, um, I went to McKay's used bookstore and grabbed a few things. Not too many. I think they didn't have, it was a little picked over that day. But um, I grabbed Vera Britton's Testament of Youth. I actually already owned this, but um, the one I have is the movie tie-in copy and I wanted this cover and it was only two bucks so I got it I got it I grabbed this because I, I read that novel by her best friend do y'all know who her best friend is um anyway look it up <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm in such a hurry uh and then I got um awesome book that I have been meaning to read forever and ever. I need to stop. Okay. I'll take that off later. Um, Guns, Germs, and Steel by Jared Diamond. Uh, and I got this because I um, read somewhere recently that Collapse um, is a sequel to this one. Collapse is another book that he's written on collapse of civilizations uh, so and then I got home and realized I don't own collapse like I can't find it anywhere and I could swear I own it so I don't know what that's all about and they had it at McKay's but maybe they'll still have it next time so this is the one that I was the most excited to find at McKay's because I've been wanting it, and you know, I've gone on a bit of a Dominican Republic bender here lately, so yay! I found Dominicana by Angie Cruz. 
and um, we were looking through the the nonfiction, and I just I can't resist David McCullough. I just can't. So I grabbed another. <laughs> I got the Greater Journey: Americans in Paris, and this one um, sounded very intriguing because uh, it's like different people's it's not just one event like his are oft, often are oh my gosh I love it when little things are in books huh. anyway um, so this one is about different peoples that went from different people from the US back in the day that went to Paris to learn so Elizabeth Blackwell the first female doctor in America uh, Charles Sumner, whose encounters with black students at the Sorbonne inspired him to become the most powerful voice for abolition in the U.S. Uh, James Fenimore Cooper and Samuel F. B. Morse, um, yeah, you know them, Harriet Beecher Stowe, um, three famous sculptors, yeah, anyway, sounds interesting. So, and then um, for this month's Indie Press project, we are doing um, Two Lines Press, which is a little cat logo. And I am reading Bright by Duanwa Pinwana. And I think this is translated from the Thai. I read recently, heard recently, somebody mentioned it. Um, by Mui Pupak Sakal. Popsicle. Um, this one also Jacqueline read last year, so that's how I knew about it. So Jacqueline's a superstar in this book haul. Um, then Trace, Memory, History, Race, in the American Landscape by Lorette Savoy. Um, this I actually found uh, David George Haskell, my you know favorite naturalist nature writing author um, tweeted this out so I grabbed it and actually I've already read it and really enjoyed it. it she writes at the intersection of race and uh, natural history and um, just history at large it's really good social society all that and then um, the dragons the giant the women by Wayetu Moore um, when I found out that she was having a new book out, a memoir. I had to snag it. Um, she was, um, what was that King book that, oh my gosh, I'm just feeling so frazzled at the moment. Why is her book not on here? Well, y'all know what, what book she wrote, right? See, I can't even think now because the cat is yelling at the door. Um, it's got a blue cover. I just read it. And last but not least, <laughs> The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Was it She Would Be King? I think that's it. I think it's, yeah, there it is. She, she Would Be King. Um, is the Wyatt Two More novel that I loved. So, yeah. <laughs> this, um, I feel, is going to be an epic reading experience. And with that, I will just sign off. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.